me, Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for a Timu unbagging. I know I, I sort of creeped. I looked a little bit, you know, sue me. I, I cheated. I, <laughs> I had to see what I was getting into. So, yes, we do have a small unbagging from Timu. This will be diamond painting related. And some things in here I don't think you're going to want to miss if you're a diamond painter. So, let's get into it. All right, folks. Let's just dig in. I'm going to start with the biggest thing. So, uh, I, got, I picked this up. Uh, let's see if I can get it out. Here we go. I picked this up, and I know what you're thinking. Mush. You know, we've all seen cases, you know, we know what's in there. We, oh, I dropped it. Show us something new. Okay, I can do that. I saw this and I was like, this now, this I have not seen before. So here we have a hard, kind of hard, it's a medium. It's not a soft sided case. There is some um, protection in here. So I guess we can call it like a hard sided case with a handle very sturdy hefty expandable handle here that does pull out um you know so you can get your hands in there and some sturdy zipper action but what's inside what's inside is what's important are you guys ready for this i saw this and i'm like i have not seen this yet i need to see this in person i have lots of kits i have tic tac kits double tic tac kits jar kits classify like e-word style kits but this i don't have one of these till now you ready Yee! Whoa, check it out we have like a multi-container kit there are 60 containers in here and it is like the other kits that we normally see it does have its um little pouch up here to store some of our tools of the trade but this kit i saw this and i thought you know this would be good for a couple of things this would be good for a new diamond painter that's starting out and doesn't really know what kind of container do i like you know what what i see them using this and i see her using that and i see him using that but what do I, what do I want to use? This might help you figure that out. Answer that question. It's like a sampler at pack. It's like a sampler appetizer at a restaurant, you guys, but diamond painting jars. <laughs> don't eat these. Don't, don't listen to me. Don't eat those. But, um, yes, you guys. So we have, looks like five times four. We have 20 Tic Tac containers over here on the left and then in the center we have it looks like six times 30 jar style screw top containers here and then on the side it looks 10 double tic tacs yes you guys it comes in a foam board type thing not like board board but like a foam insert and you can take it out if you want to, for whatever reason, take it out, it does seem pretty stir sturdy. I did just have two fall out, but I bent it. You know what I mean? So uh, this is sturdy. Bet you if I put these back in, will they stay in there? They're these two might be a little loose in there, but you know, so what? I are we really going to be taking these out? You might take it out and put it in a different kit of the same size. If you'd like, hey, I like the purple and all, but I want my purple to be my Tic Tac kit. You could take the insert from that one and put it in here take this one and put it in a different kit but um yeah it comes out if you want to work with it outside of the kit it goes right back in if you want to work with it inside of the kit it goes right in shuts zips up voila i mean what do you guys think of this have you seen this over on timu do, do any of you have this one um what are your thoughts but yeah, oh, I said there was two. This would be good for a starter, you know, a newer diamond painter who isn't really sure what kind of case or container that they like. But this would also, with 60 container slots of varying sizes, you know that, you know, these Tic Tac jars, while deceptively, you know, they're deceptive. They hold more than you think they do. But you know these hold more, and you know... The, these hold even more so this would also be good for anyone that's got a project that's under six, 60 or under colors and you've got like a couple of baggies that have maybe a couple dozen 
Yeah, two, two. I can't hold anything today. Two or three dozen um, drills in it. Use a smaller Tic Tac. And then, you know, you've got your regular size average bag of drills. You put it in there. You got yourself a larger size bag of drills. You can put them in here. You know, you could do your numbers here, your letters here, your symbols here. You you could really use this for anything, whether you're new or not. But I just thought this would be really good for... The first thing that struck me is this would be really, really good for a new diamond painter who's trying to figure out exactly what they like, you know? But it could be used by an advanced diamond painter who likes different sized you know containers to hold different amounts of drills so yeah you guys it's got a nice hard case and everything i was scared to make that knocking sound my bark machines are extra we're we got tor tornado or tornadoes we got tornadoes in the area so um they're all on high alert <laughs> all right let's see what else i got okay let's reach our hand in and see what else there is so this here is a ceramic cutting blade in a pin style format. So what you have here, you take off the edge. And I don't know how well you can see that there, but it does have like that little fine tip point situation. And I like to use this to cut sections when I use um, sectioned off cellophane on a diamond painting. And on this end, you guys a diamond painting pen so instead of like you know i'm diamond painting oh now i gotta put my pen down i gotta pick up my cutter and cut you can just be like i'm diamond painting oh but wait i need a new section i need to cut away my my little plastic cover sheet joop, 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 joop. there you go i can resume yay <laughs> i just i i thought this was a nice you know time saving innovative kind of we, we, we see a lot of these, but they're just the cutting blade or just a diamond painting pen. This is a simple, no frills, but functional diamond painting pen and ceramic cutter. Okay, let's see what else we've got. All right, we're going to reach in the bag of mysteries. And what what is this? What could this be? Okay, congratulations, Mushy. You bought... A little black piece of fabric <laughs> sort of yes and no so this here I am gonna be naming the finger nubbin protectinator 2000 <laughs> it is just a um, sleeve it's got it's elastic it's elastic fabric sleeve with a little bit of extra you can see how it's kind of got a bump here a little extra padding right here and it goes on your finger nubbin so if you spend many hours diamond painting and you're holding your pin sometimes our finger nubbins can get calloused they can get a little swollen you know a little I don't know nubbiny and it gets irritated so this finger nubbin sleeve I'm sorry, I, I said the wrong name. The Finger Nubbin Protectinator 2000, 24, um, can be placed on your finger so when you're using a diamond painting pen, help protect your, your finger nubbin from getting all weirdo. You know what I mean? Let me see. Do I have... I don't have any of my pins handy that have the craziness on them. Well, here. We, we've got this one. It's um, got some ridges on it. It's been a comfortable pen for me without a nubbin protector, but you know, I'm, I'm not everybody. So somebody might need a nubbin protector and this nubbin protector just right there protects your nubbin from the ridges and some of your favorite pens. So if you have a favorite pen, um, whether it's, you know, got ridges and bumps or not, you know, maybe it's just one of the normal ones that come in a diamond painting kit, but it irritates your nubbin, this little sleeve will help protect your nubbin. And as an added bonus, um, it adds a little emphasis if you fly a bird. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, let's see what else I've got. What else is in Mushy's bag of mysteries? All right. What is it? Oh, you guys pay attention. If you're diamond painting, please look up. Okay. We need this in our lives. Okay. I'm even going to adjust my camera for this one. Hold on. There we go. A little closer to me. Thank you. Sorry about that. But guys pay attention to this one okay well what is in here 
Ah, I flung. That was dumb. Try to be less dramatic, Mushy. Maybe you won't lose things. Yay. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's a power cord. Thanks a lot, Mushy. Um, I'm going to go back to diamond painting. Wait, wait a minute. So this is a six foot um, braided fabric cord, you know, USB friendly charging cord, but this is not your average charging cord. So I don't know, some of you may or may not know, I have bark machines, they're little jerks and they run around the room when they get excited and they don't care what's in their way. And I can't tell you how many freaking light boards they have broken or light board cords they've broken because they catch on the, the cord with their little zoomy paws and yank it and it messes with the like where where this connects into the light board you know it goes in and gives you power and because of that it it stays in there and so when they yank the cord it yanks the board and it messes the housing unit that the power goes into or messes up the cord well you guys so first first feature of this besides having a usb plug and being a sturdy protected braided fabric you know kind of cord this has look at that has a swivel situation can you see that so a feature a this is nice okay i can see this alone saving some situations right but i'm going to show you a magic trick now you see it uh now you don't now you see it now you don't magic <laughs> not magic magnet this is oh strong too this is a magnetic power chargey cordy thing i, I did me in words it's a stormy day so i'm i'm uh, it's a dumb day for me so uh bear with me and kind of connect the dots read between the lines figure it out what i'm saying with what is on the screen okay cool all right but um yeah this is a magnetic magnetic uh power cord so you have little you know this is plugged into your light board right and you know da, 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 i'm diamond painting you have a little jerk of a you know f bark machine fur monster or you have an affectionate loving little sweet nugget of a child that uh, does not respect personal space and bonks your board pulls your cord trips whatever or you forget your light board's plugged in and you go to set it on the table beside you it yanks the cord and instead of breaking the ho the power housing unit it will just floop i mean but look but under regular use you can move it around up and down you know and it's swivel i'm kind of tugging on it a little bit and it's fine it takes a little finesse like a little swipe but you can, you know, you can get it off, but it's not going to just slide off all the time. Does that make sense? Like how handy is this going to be? How many light boards is this going to save? I can tell you in my house, it's going to save them all. I am going to buy about 500 more of these. I want these for my phone in the car. I want these on my light boards. Um, yeah. See, now it ha it can accommodate a lot of things. It's got this little you know, I don't know. I know they're called like micro USB, USB, type C, type A, type B. You guys, I don't know that stuff. Like, you, you tell me, uh, Mushy, go get me a type C chargey, cordy, pluggy thing. And I'll just look at you like you're stupid. Like, what? Can you draw that on a piece of paper for me? I can't tell the difference between all of them. I know there's differences, but I don't know them. Um, I know that this is the smaller little thing with little teeth at the bottom. To, is this a b c d e f g i don't know you tell me but um this is the smaller version and this is what most light boards i have use okay and then if i want to use it for my phone this is what my phone uses this like oval edged situation so yeah 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 i am super excited and thrilled to have this and with the added bonus of having a swivel so if your plug is on the the side of your light board you can like swivel it like this if it's at the bottom of your light board you can have it you know straight up like that you guys this is gonna be a board saver mark my words if you get one of these and it saves your board you're welcome you're welcome yep yeah. it's on on timu you guys yay I had been shopping for one of these and couldn't find, I was having a hard time finding one, especially that had multiple 
changey top things like that. And I found it at Timu. Yay. Let's see what else I got. You guys, and now we're down to the nitty gritty. What everyone really, really wants to see probably um, is what canvases did Mushy get? I got two of them. Here's the first one. Um, this one was heavily influenced by Mr. R.G. Sundown, who does have an affection for skulls. I don't mind it. It fits in the dark and creepy thematic situation. Though skulls are not like my personal favorite aesthetic. Uh, I don't mind doing them, especially if it's for him. So here we have a 40 by 70 round drill skull situation. You might have to help me like understand what's happening here in this situation it almost looks like you know a tarot card or a playing card or a portrait it does have a frame here um but it's got like whooshy whooshy stuff right here i don't know if this is weeds it kind of looks like weeds or thorns bramble perhaps i do think i see some thorns on here i think this is bramble around the edges um it does look like there's some sinew you know where a neck would be red background a moon in the background just kind of a general skull portrait it does look like it has maybe gems or blood drops here um in the corner pieces just a unique you know skull image now this image to me looks really clear you clearly see it's a skull I feel like it looks a little stretched I feel like we look a little smushed here and a little long here but just on you know first glance it doesn't appear that it really f's the image up you know I think this is gonna be fine so yeah 40 by 70 and you know me you guys you know I like to do like I like to do so we're gonna we're gonna see we're a 35 drill field so the active drill field is 35 oops I slipped by yeah, I'm doing this off frame and I'm sorry, but you're going to have to take my word for it. 30, 35 by 64 centimeters. So, um, we did, we did get a little, uh, we got five centimeters kind of robbed off the side and, um, 64 set six centimeters off the vertical, but, um, you know, we, that's something that we generally expect with, most budget companies so I'm not mad about it I want to look at the thumbnail here we go that's what the thumbnail represents and here let's look at our legend there are no special drills in this kit it is a round drill kit and while we're looking at the legend you can kind of sneak a peek at the canvas too this does look like it is um, all alphabet it is not in order that makes me die inside a little bit but not you know not insurmountable it is in dmc number order we got 150 through 38.65 so there you go there's our color palette you can kind of see a little bit of everything in here and then we'll look at the canvas because i see a lot of dark colors and there's our w that represents 310 and like every canvas I, I is that a thing that i just am i not in on the secret you know because um I see that a lot. <laughs> either either W is 310 or X is often 310. The number 3 is often 310. But it's always those same letters and symbols in my observation. I'm sure there's an oddball outlier somewhere out there. But generally, if there's a 310, it's going to be a W, an X, or a 3. <laughs> uh, we do have a little confetti and a little color blocking. What I'm looking for is dark symbols on dark colors just to see if there's anything you know that's that might scare me a little bit about this canvas so far i don't see anything too scary um nothing's jumping out at me being real questionable this is very clearly legible the image on the canvas as you can see is very clear look at that i mean there is no it's not fuzzy grainy blurry um, there does seem to be quite a bit of confetti in here. I'm, 
I'll be interested in seeing how this all plays out with the various, uh, like, really confetti heavy here through this bramble. You know, so interesting. I want to know what this is going to look like when it's done. I am... I'm pretty interested. I mean, for, for me, not being a super skeleton image lover um, or skull image lover, I am pretty excited about this one. I've been known to do, I've recently done some skeletal images. So let's see what our toolkit is. We've got a couple of pink pins. There's single placers in both ends of the pink pins, and we do have multi-placers on the other end of the pin looks like maybe a three and uh my gosh that one might be a pretty big one maybe in a six eight probably an eight and then we got wax here uh, equivalent of two squares we've got a little green boat and we do have some plastic baggies if you like to work out a baggie and here are our drills you guys like i said these are round drills that's in the cut open like cellophane type bags they're the full size bags not those baby trains that we that we uh, uh totally don't like at all <laughs> um we do have some grays reds oranges blues got the bone yellow situation uh if you can see kind of through there there's some purples there's mustard some more orange red orange some some maroon down here burgundy some more grays this is like an interesting grayish lavender i mean it's kind of it, it's got a tinge of purple but a tinge of gray in here uh that's interesting guys so yeah this is our color palette what do you think i had to take a little break there bark machines the thunder has rolled in the storms have begun so they're a little upset and i apologize if any of it leaks in um I'll try to make this brief. That's a really cool, like, mustardy orange. Yeah, that, that big, brave, 40-pound little miniature golden doodle is going to save us from a tornado. He's ready. <laughs> He's like, let me at him. Let me at him. He, he reminds me of Scrappy-Doo, you guys. Well, I'll take care of this, and let's see what else I've got. And last but certainly not least, we have one more diamond painting. I am really excited about this. This, I think, is a newer addition to the Timu Marketplace because I have not seen it before. And you guys, believe me, I check Timu a lot. Uh, I, I have multiple carts loaded. <laughs> it's kind of insane. But this was an image I had not seen. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get it. And here it is. To me, this says Freddy Claw with a heart in the background, some floral accents. I'll deal with the floral accents for the claw and the heart. Uh, I'm really digging this image. I saw it and I'm like, yes, I got to have it. It's not the standard, typical um, type of Freddy-esque claw that we see with the brown leather, you know, glove and, and stuff. This is a little bit more altered and advanced. It's got the black and red here. We see some mechanized joints here. I just really, really was attracted to this. Um, I didn't tell you how many colors was in the other one, but you saw the legend, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is 24 colors, and it is a round drill. Now, it is labeled as a 40 by 40, and again, me with being nosy, we're going to see what our, dr our active drill field is. Measures at 35 by, guess what? I'm going to guess, yep. 35 by 35 so um, we you know do have five centimeters lost horizontal and vertical to the legend which is I mean for this image I find that acceptable and expected so I'm not mad about it I, I expect it you know Ooh, is this like bloody knuckles here or something or is this just like bedazzled I don't know. I want to see it done. That looks so cool. Okay, sorry. Let's get to the thumbnail. Here's the thumbnail of the inspiration art. And we do have our legend here. And hallelujah, it's one, two, three, ABC. I love to see it. 
There is no symbols, there's no special drills. And we're going from good old 150 down to a 3848 on this one. We'll take a look at the drill field here. It looks like a lot of color blocking. Four is 310 this time. Hey, hey, I just, you know, disproved my theory uh, that I had like two seconds ago. <laughs> I've never seen 310 be a number four before. I'm not mad about it. Not mad. I'm looking to see if I see anything creepy or scary on here in the form of dark. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's kind of help ourselves out there. Yay. In the form of dark letters on dark backgrounds. Not seeing anything too questionable yet. That three, that three without, um, you know, backlighting might might be a little bit hard to see in the camera it looks fine i'm sure with a backlight it's going to look fine that one's not too offensive at all um you know if it was any darker in the background i might be a little more concerned but it's not uh do see eights they have a different color background so that's nice no three and eight confusion going on here yeah everything looks pretty good to me what do you guys think what do you think of this one? I'm digging it, right? Look, I'm digging it. This is kind of Valentine's-y to me, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to wait. And with the floral background being some like red, and yeah, I choose to ignore the pink part, but some red, there's some sparkle effect there. There's some green. I could maybe make an argument for a Christmassy type theme on this one if I stretch the imagination a bit, but... Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait an entire year to do this, you guys, for Valentine's Day. I, I don't know. Give me the strength, please. Okay. And we do get a standard toolkit with our pink single placer pen, our pad of wax, and a little green boat packaged up in a nice little baggie for us. And then we have our drills and, and they do come in the full size cut open bags, which is better than the little baby trains from the hot place. And uh, this is our color palette. Let me bring the light back over here maybe so we can see the colors a little more bright and vibrant. But here's our color palette. Look at that, like some teal situation in here and some blood red like that deeper blood red and got some maroon uh cranberry color P pink <laughs> not too much not too much we can live with it and then let's see if we can see down in there we got the purples are, are hiding in there some oops, sorry some purples some lighter blues a white darker blues and then, oh, there we go. Found the rest of the pink. <laughs> it's all, it was hiding on the backside where it belongs. And a dark blue. But yeah, you guys, this is our color palette. Can you see it? Like how it's going to come together? This screams like Valentine's first, but then second-ish, it kind of screams maybe an argument for some kind of holiday, other holiday with the almost wreath type effect in the light, sparkle light kind of effect around the outer edges much like a Christmas tree or Christmas wreath but um yeah I don't think I'm gonna be able to wait <laughs> I'm really excited about this one the claw hands came out all right so here's our unboxing all in one place together unpackaged and maybe uh, I can see the little, the little <laughs> sleeve the nubbin sleeve you know you you can use this on any finger you want any of your 11 fingers you can you can pick one and use it on uh but anyway so as one of my subbies pointed out um <laughs> they had a different idea when they saw what this was <laughs> they thought the 11th finger yay uh but yes you guys this is kind of my little mini haul if you will and a, a small unbagging all together this cost me about $30 I should have the prices linked on the screen for you displayed on the screen for you probably like around here or maybe around here or maybe up here wherever I feel like it fits and doesn't interrupt what you're seeing um, and there will be links in the description below I am a Timu affiliate so if you want to use my affiliate link it helps the channel out it helps the girl out it gives me some pennies over on Timu to then reinvest into the channel and bring you more goodies to look at. Um, 
If you don't like using affiliate links, that's okay. There will be regular ones down there too. I also have a code. I believe you get a little something something uh, percentage off or coupon pack for using those links or codes. So it's a win-win for me and for you. But uh, regular links will also be provided down in the description below. No pressure. Shop how... Did I just do that? Yep, however you like to shop is uh, how I, I say yes, go shop. All right, you guys. So that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for hanging out. And again, go check some of this stuff out. Like this is the MVP, this magnetic charging cord for our light pads with the removable, you know, magnetic nubbin so that we don't rip the light cord housing, you know, power housing fixture slot thing that's an mvp this case i mean really all of it i'm really happy with but this mvp this case honorable mention this freddy glove also honorable mention so all right we'll see you in the next one stay naughty mm -hmm.